Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. with the Uber lead hacks and the prawn with the what the guff with the wuh and rockstars, boxers, dumaga hacks. Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. Lead hacks for the gu. Pun nibs for the wa. And there's. Have it, have it. Dairy Queen. No? Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. Raffle mouth. A good to g ka u le eter lufg bird abrz dum zg muk noob lead Raffle mouth Do 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 Raffle mouth Do 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 Raffle mouth Do 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 I'm Uber Uber lead so Uber Uber lead what a wonderful feeling I'm poning again hop hop hip hop hop ruffle mouth do 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 ruffle mouth do 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 oh and ruffle mouth do 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 ruffle mouth do 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 ruffle mouth do 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 Ruffle mouth. Do 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 Take a second. 
Dreams Unite! Up, 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 up! Stay away from those crooked elves. They look like women and they smell like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. Hello, hello, my God, we'll take a Jerry Quinn. Hello, hello, my God, baby, thank you. Hello, hello, my God, we'll take a Jerry Quinn. Hello, hello, my God, baby, thank you. Hello, hello, my God, we'll take a Jerry Quinn. Hello, hello, my God, baby, thank you. Hello, hello, my God, we'll take a Jerry Quinn. Hello, hello, my God, baby, thank you. Song, a song, a singing a song, just a song, song, sing a song, sing it all day long. Hello and welcome to Oxhorn's Lessons on Music. Today we are going to learn how to sing a rap song. Alright, so the first thing you need is you need a beat in the background, something like this. And then what you need is you need something that sounds like a record being scraped against a needle. It sounds sort of like this. Squee! 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 And then you need some instrument in the background doing sort of like a bass track. Like a... And then you need to be sure that you're really, really angry when you're writing your lyrics because, I mean, you've got all that bling bling around your neck and you're incredibly wealthy and successful. But for some reason, you're very, very angry. And so you've got to make sure that you're just mad at the world and mad at society because you're being subjugated by something. And then you just put them all together. So it'll sound sort of like this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm angry. I'm very, very mad. I've got things wrong with my life, so I'm singing about them and being angry. Show enough for the stuff. Skillet? Yes. I write my rhymes well, as you can plainly tell. So you can go to... Wait a minute. Wait. What What rhymes with well? Hold on a second, I'm trying to think of this one. What on earth could possibly rhyme with tell and well? Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I just, I just can't think of a word. Hark, hear the bells, sad silver bells in Lord Aron, but they are gone. Hearth as he came, mad of great fame, to ding, the old throne, dong, all made of stone. Ding, ding dong, ding dong, that dong, is our song, no ding, more ringing. So we sing, Kill father dear, thus no more cheer, details are vague, but brought the plague, wish they were sound, bells on the ground, through the city, weep, wide ringing, dash, they would sound, bells on the ground, through the city, wide, so we sing, there's no joy, no of winter, there's no joy, no of winter, dawn on the sand, dawn of our dark end, chimes from the past, are fading fast, dark, hear the bells, sad silver bells, all seem to say that we betray, dawn on the sand, to our dark end, chimes from the past are fading fast. Ding dong, ding dong, dong 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 dong. Then I saw your massive hooves and knew that you were the one. I'm asking you with your tail so wide, my charming, sweet, and dear Lacey. If you would be my lovely bride and forever pwn those noobs with me. After hours and hours of toil and bother, the credits come just for the author, so that he may have his say and claim the work as his. Yet no one enjoys simple scrolling text, so most men leave to view something next and never know who made the show that the author claims as his. What must one do, I dare ask you, to keep a man here long? The answer, pray, is as clear as day, just simply write a song. 
A song, a song, a clerky song, the lyrics matter not. You'll keep him here all the day long if you simply write a song. Make it simple, lad, and sing it well, a crazy tune of inconsequence. And be sure, my friend, I do recommend to sing in an Irish accent. A song, a song, a quirky song, the lyrics matter not. You'll keep him here all the day long if you simply write a song. Yes, any moment now, Thunk the Ogre will arrive, and I will harness his power. No longer shall annoying players be able to defy me. Now, let's see if I have enough turkey giblets as bait. Yes, yes, this should be enough. Ah, good evening, Thunk. I'm glad you could come. Turkey! Turkey for everyone! That's right! We have turkey, pecan pies, and some spiked eggnog just for you! Oh, you're so nice! Yes, yes. Um, um, here, wait, 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 do take a seat over here. Oh, that seat don't look very comfortable. Oh, never you mind that. It is a very important seat. The best seat in the house. Just prop your big bottom down here. That's it. And uh, let me affix these special, um, wristbands. Special wristbands? What they for? Uh, oh, well, only my most special guests get the wristbands. They signify how awesome you are. They don't restrain you so I can experiment on you in safety at all, no. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm special. Mom, say so. Okay, let's see. Serum injector stabilized. Potion thrasher normalized. So, can I have turkey now? Huh? Oh, sure. Let's see here. Have this. Mmm, <coughs> more. Okay, here. <coughs> Mmm, tasty. More. Uh, how much can you fit in there? Enough to break the outhouse later. Well, oh, hold on a minute. Before we eat any more, I, I need to give you my special party hat. I love hats. Yes, you'll especially love this hat. It has colorful tubes and flashing lights on it. Pretty colors. Wow, I didn't realize your jaw would be so thick. Ah. Oh. That horn on your head isn't helping any. <laughs> Hat tickles. There, at last. Now to flip the switch and turn you into my minion. <laughs> Can I sing turkey song first? Uh, sure. Turkey is such juicy meat. It is really fun to eat. Turkey is my feel-good treat. Turkey legs just can't be beat. You know, I don't feel at all bad for what I'm about to do. What's that? This! <laughs> yes, fry, my little brain cells, fry. Be compelled to do my bidding forever. <laughs> Must have my turkey! Wait, stop! How, how did you break free? No, no, don't touch that helmet! You ruin my work! Wow, that was fun game, Mr. Evil. Did I win? Oh, yes. Yes, it looks like you've won. Oh, look, I have a lot of research to do, so just go. Okay, thanks for party, Mr. Evil. Yes, yeah, sir, no problem. Party at Mr. Evil's house. Hey, take this leftover turkey with you.
Um, Thunk? Yes, Master. Whoa, it worked? Yes, Master. What do you require, Master? <laughs> this is so sudden. I, f I feel kind of on the spot. Um, gee, what should I have you do? Oh, I know. Dispose of this turkey. Bye, Mr. Evil. Wait, wait, what? Oh, turkey. Your orders, Master. Turkey. Have a good day. Turkey. Yes, Master. <laughs> Beware, world, for I have a new weapon. Lieutenant Colonel Virtue is back. <laughs> Spend five hours pawning them and showing off my tricks. Every week on Tuesday, I fight kobolds at eight. I'll play online till 3 a.m. and never procreate. Tag, tag, kill, tag, stack, cast, four. Kill, kill, respawn, instant soul. Epic blue, green, roller, gold. Tag, tag, Thursdays are a bore I do dailies all day long Cause I am that hardcore On Fridays I am social With all of my best friends We laugh and talk the night away Until our lead trade ends Tank, tank, kill, tank, stop, cast, pull Kill, kill, respawn, instant soul Epic blue, green, roller, grown Tank, tank, kill, tank, snap, cast, ball On Saturdays, from 1 to 10 My guild is epic, raiding If I roll a 99 I'll do some gear upgrading Sundays are my favorite days When I get relaxation to buy a mount like it's my occupation. Tank, tank, kill, tank, stab, cast, pull. Kill, kill, respawn, instant soul. Epic, blue, green, roller, grown. Tank, tank, kill, tank, stab, cast, pull. Hello, and welcome once again to Oxhorn's Lessons on Music. Today we will be looking at the typical Eurovision Song Contest entry. Now, to my fellow American patriots out there who might not know what Eurovision is, it is basically an annual song competition, and every nation in Europe submits a song. Now, a number of these songs tend to be really cheesy. For instance, last year a Finnish band called Lordy won with a song entitled Hard Rock Hallelujah, with fantastic lyrics such as It's the Arocalypse and On the Day of Rockening. Basically, to make a good Eurovision song, you need to sing a bunch of nonsensical lyrics in some European language, and then every now and then throw in a few English words so that it sounds a little anglicized. You also have to dress up in tinfoil and glue pink feathers all over your body. Anyhow, here is Oxhorn's version of a Eurovision song. <coughs> For Lord May is very for at Yal and Verti Sprock. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do you like my black trousers? I like cheesecake and pot pie. Whoop, 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 whoop
the Arda and the European scars. Sprokatum yakan. Sprokatum and scars. Bow, bow, better later. I like pretty lady girls and their hair are Mickey bra. Boss no oshike inte ora email to me. Zoe, yamara, bit on your lawa. Yatala litis fanska. Men means fetka hair inte bra. Love and muscles, fancy cars. Okay. Lovely, you're oh lovely, my darling. Can't you see? All that really matters is you're lovely to me. I'll take you to the forest to see the mighty trees The native hippie tree huggers may greet you with a tease They may point at your stout snout, saying in your face there is the gout But listen dear, my love for you, I'll never give you cause to doubt For lovely, you're lovely, my darling, can't you see? All that really matters is you're lovely to me I'll take you to the mountain tops to dance atop the ice The native mountain dwellers may say things that are nice They may call you plump and white and say your movements shift the tide And add another moment to the years of tears that you've cried But lovely, you're lovely, my darling, can't you see? What really matters is you're lovely to me. Hey, thanks for coming, you guys. It's good to get some friendly criticism. No sweat, Hat. I wish you all the best on Orgrimmar Idol. You'll pwn that contest, noob. Hey, where's Stag? He's still taking a shower. That rank he's built up over the years doesn't come out easily. But come on, man, we're here to listen to you sing. Show us what you got. Oh, okay. Well, this first selection is from Gilbert and Sullivan's Ruddigor. <laughs> if I've been so very lucky as to have a steady brother who could talk with me as we are talking out to one another, who could give me good advice when he discovered I was wearing, which is just the very favor which I knew I am conferring my existence would have made a rather interesting little, and I might have lived in a very decent little whittle. This particularly rapid and intelligible patterns and generally had never doesn't doesn't matter. <gasps> <laughs> are you serious? That was awful! What, what? What? Yeah, dude, you sounded like a canary choking on a gecko. But that's Gilbert and Sullivan. Surely the judges will recognize their brilliance. Sorry, man, but it just sucks. Maybe try something that doesn't send you into epileptic fits afterwards. Uh, okay. Well, uh, how about this? Why does my heart cry? Feelings I can't fight. You're free to leave me, but just don't deceive me. And please believe me when I say I love you. Oh, that was so moving. Yeah, it brings back memories. Oh, thanks. Memories of constipation. What? Constipation, that's it. I was trying to remember what it reminded me of. Guess I should have said it was not moving. <laughs> but that was from Roxanne. Edwin McGregor and Sting, man. How could you hate that? Look, this is Ordramar Idol. You need something catchy, something that demands attention and respect. Pull out the big guns. Or do us a favor and not show up at all. Lol. Ah, big guns, eh? All right. Guess I could go with an old standby. How's this? Will not someone show compassion? Here I hang in such a fashion. Will this once I let it go? Just reply, say yes or no. Just reply, say yes or no. No. I agree, no. Wait, I haven't finished yet. Doesn't matter, it's already terrible. Yeah, dude, sounds like the noises Lacey made while giving birth. Wow, that conjures a really horrible image, Mort. Sorry. But yeah, I know what you mean. It sounds as bad as the noise made by a man getting a root canal, a colonoscopy, and suffering from an ingrown toenail all at the same time. But that's Mozart! Yeah, well, maybe Mozart should stay in his grave. <gasps> 
No one insults Mozart. How about you? Let go of my tail. Ow. 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 Ah, take that, you fiend. That's a sensitive Ow. area. Ow. 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 Next time you'll think twice about insulting Mozart, good day. Oh, that's it. I'm getting him a muzzle. Dance, you're wearing your dancing pants. Just celebrate this happy day and dance, fellas, dance. Mortus married his sweetheart, lads. He gave no other woman a glance. So give your lady a sparkling ring and then be sure to dance. Women at their every chance Just find one lady Be true to her And then be sure to dance Dance, fellas, dance You're wearing your dancing pants Just celebrate this happy day And dance, fellas, dance Welcome once again to Oxhorn's Lessons on Music. Today we're going to be learning about Screamo, which is a musical genre that is a mix between emo and hardcore punk. And it's basically characterized by somebody sitting at a guitar and slowly strumming while singing very melodically in a very cool and calming voice about how much he hates the government. And then for a chorus, he'll burst into a bout of screaming and strumming really hard on the guitar with somebody banging really frantically on the drums and people jumping around on stage and just making a bloody mess of their vocal cords. So, uh... Uh, here's my attempt at Screamo. I am a middle-class suburbanite Who eats three meals a day And has enough free time to whine and mourn About the most insignificant and petty problems I hate the government! We live in a fascist nation! Why do we live in a fascist nation? And why do we always send the poor? <laughs> I live at home with my mom and dad And I pay no bills and yet I feel so depressed So I grow my bangs out long And I wear all black and never smile Because smiling isn't cool this is music! I'm making beautiful music! Oh, don't you think my music is beautiful? I love to strum and scream at the guitar! Whee! <laughs>
Dr. Strangeorg, why are we still floating in space? What to know, Tank. I'm not even sure how we got here in the first place. Are we here because someone finds it therapeutic to write really stupid scripts and is using us as a way to achieve his vision? No, that can't be it. Yeah, that can't be it. Hey, do you hear that noise? What noise? Shh, listen for a moment. It sounds like wind. Oh, that makes sense. Having background ambience really sells audio design, especially if there is no video to accompany your story. But wait, aren't we in spice? There's no wind in spice. Oh yeah. Plus, sound can't travel through the vacuum of space, so if there was wind in space, we wouldn't be able to hear it. Boy, this is a problem. I know. Let's tell the wind to go away. Good idea. Hey, wind. Go away. Yeah, go away, wind. You're insulting people's intelligence. I think it worked. Yep, that was a great idea. Really great. Great. Really great. So, what now? You know, I've always wanted to go to the beach. Or oh, the beach. Let's go to the beach. Um, wait. We're stuck here in space. Oh, yeah. I know. You know how all matter has a gravitational pull, right? Yeah. Well, we're made of matter. That means that we have a gravitational pull. Let's just wait until our gravitational pull brings us close to a planet. Then we can hop onto it and go to the beach. Oh, great idea! Truly great. 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 Are we there yet? No, not yet. Wait a minute. I, I think I see a flaw in our plan. Yeah? Won't waiting for our gravitational pulls to bring us close to a planet take millions of years? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could just fast forward until we get there. Yeah, that could work. Let's talk about something intelligent and brilliant until we get there. And that's why Bill Maher is the worst comedian ever. Wow, that was a very intelligent conversation. And it's probably the last one we'll ever have, too. I'm glad we didn't miss it. Oh, look, a planet. Oh, it worked. Now, let's jump down onto the planet and go to the beach. Ready? Ready. We. Wow, falling is fun. Yeah, lots of fun. Wait, do you hear that? What? Listen. I don't hear anything. Exactly. We're falling through a thick atmosphere right now. Shouldn't we hear, like, wind or something? Oh, yeah. Plus, our spacesuits would be getting really hot from all the friction, too, and would probably burn us to death. Yeah, but let's ignore that one for now. Okay. Here, wind. Come back, wind. We miss you. There it is! Yay! Now we are convincingly falling! Whee! Oh, look! The beach! Hooray! The beach! It's as beautiful as I imagined. Well, what should we do now? Maybe we should retire. What? You mean, have no more adventures in space? Yeah. So this little skit is the last works in space ever? Yeah, why not? Okay, sounds good. Okay. Well, good night. Good night. And thus, Orcs in Space comes to an end. Or does it? Find out next time on... Orcs, Orcs, Orcs in, in, in Space 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 Space. Commence to dancing, commence advancing.
to start to prancing, right and left to glancing, a moochie dancing, sliding, gliding, prancing. You do the tangle jiggle with the Texas Tommy Wiggle. Take your partner and you hold her, lightly and fold her, a little bolder. Just work your shoulders, snap your fingers, one and all in the hall at the ball. That's all. Some ball. Commence to dancing, commence advancing, to start to prancing, right and left to glancing, the moochie dancing, sliding, gliding, prancing, the diddly dangle, diddly diddly, Texas Tommy Wiggle, take your partner and you hold her, lightly and fold her, a little bolder, just work your shoulders, snap your fingers, one and all in the hall at the ball, that's all. Three men in a gnome went out to sea to slay the mighty whale But they never came home to kiss their wives For the ship went down in a gale As they floated on down to the watery graves To make the seabed their home Tim Flannery Hall turned to his two friends And said, just blame the gnome Five curses and spite live in each gnome This truth can't be ignored The best way to get rid of a gnome Is to throw that gnome overboard their souls were taken by the judge of the deep, old dropper was his name. Said the judge to the four, as was his want, which one of you is to blame? The men did discuss quite fast and quick, with a grunt, a grumble, and a groan. Said John McNash, with the finger upraised, it was that there boy ting wrong. Five curses and spite live in each gnome, this truth can't be ignored. The best way to get rid of a gnome is to throw that gnome overboard. The men went to heaven and the gnome to hell as Roper justly decreed. And the men sat looking down on the gnome just watching his spirit bleed. When an angel with a rock came floating by and said, what should we do with the stone? Pat Callahan laughed and pointed at hell and said, let's all stone the gnome. Five curses and spite live in each gnome, this truth can't be ignored. The best way to get rid of a gnome is to throw that gnome overboard. There's a certain beast that doesn't live in snow No mountain lands or jungle bells are in the sea, you know He wanders thriving grasslands and travels rolling plains And is known by the tarin as the Great Kodo He's got a massive horn and a sturdy rugged back Can bear a tar and awesome baggage piled up in his stack There is no other creature that can bear the tar and wave But they'd give other beasts a heart attack no raptor man or scaly horse or riding wolf will do For they are only yet equipped for cooking in a stew The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm But the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm He hails from a birthplace, the great Mogoland And if you were truly honest, you would surely understand That there ain't no creature in the land or sea Quite as dear to me as the great Kodo Kodo is descended from the mighty Stegodon But except for in the deep crater the Stegodon are gone He migrated through Tanaris and north with thousand pins And now he prances happily on Tarn on lawn He bore up the Tarn for a thousand years or more Was used for leather for our tents and spot our sons of war We owe the mighty Kodo for sustaining our whole race He's the most honored herbivore in all Mogor No ugly ram or silly horse or riding cat Will do, for they are only adequate for grinding into glue The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm But the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm He hails from a birthplace, the great Mugoland And if you were truly honest, you would surely understand That there ain't no creature in the land Or see quite as dear to me as the great Kodo Some may see the Kodo as an ugly scary beast Probably them humans from the land far to the east 
I can surely tell you that the corridor is quite tame But if you touch his horn, you'll wind up quite deceased Pass a piece of bird and we use in time of war When they would wander through our lands and do things we abhor Legendary great Kodo shall serve us once again And shall be our closest friend forevermore No silly mecho bird phenomes will ever do For they always squawk and squeak and spit out oily goo The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm But the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm He hails from my birthplace, the great Mogul land And if you were truly honest, you would surely understand That there ain't no creature in the land Or see quite as dear to me as the great Kodo Of all the men of Azeroth, I must say that my least favorite race is the elf. I'd rather have lunch with a fat ogre than to spend one moment with an elf. I'd rather take a slime to a homie pop than to toast to an elf's elf. They're tall and purple and all too skinny, and of this you must be sure, that elves are the sickliest things around, and sadly there's no cure. Oh, stay away from those crooked elves that look like women and they smile like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. I'd rather go fishing with an Ixie uh, than to go fishing with an elf. I'd rather go swimming with a dead murloc than boarding with an ugly elf. Their voices are feminine, they don't resemble men, their, their bodies are void of hair. And so I'm sure you can understand why, why they give me such a scare. Oh, 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 stay away from those crooked elves that look like women and they smile like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. Despite my better judgment, I once went camping with an elf. He stole my s'mores and dented my pots and made the campground smell. A lavender and rosebud, such nasty smells they be. So I went and threw him into the lake, and then I went and had some tea. <laughs> oh, stay away from those crooked elves that look like women and they smile like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. Hello, and welcome once again to Oxhorn's Lesson on Music. Today I'm addressing that genre known as rap. Now, as many of you know, I tackled this one already at the end of my movie Drunken Kodo Writing, but I feel that I failed to capture the true essence of what rap is. Besides, since then I have had the pleasure of befriending a bald-headed fellow named Gorant, who, for some reason, is particularly fond of rap. So then, my good Gorant, here is Oxhorn's attempt to uncover the true essence of rap. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah. Word. Sense. Syllable. Wigga, wigga, wigga. Dog. Ostrich. This song's about me. Me, 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 me. I grew up, dog, in the middle of the hood. In the hat and the jacket, too. And I got rich, dog, just doing what I could. And doing it to people like you. Now I got my bling and my blang and my blong. And I bathe in champagne all day long. And I comb my beaches as long as it takes with my hose. And all of my rakes. I'm really, really cool and particularly tough and i got lots of guns but i do not have enough and i'll cap your clock with my five and my nine and i'll do it all in style and all set to rhyme expletive in your window who skillet Hey, Dick, I found this really cool seashell. Oh, neat. What does it do? It's a wishing shell. You hold it in your hands and make a wish, and whatever you wish comes true. Wow, that's great. Truly great. Great. Truly great.
What should we wish for? Well, it should be something really great. Truly great. Okay, no more of that now. Okay, sorry. I know. Let's wish for the very best thing in the world. Sounds good. Here, you grab this half with your hand, and I'll grab the other half with my hand. There we go. We, we wish, wish upon, upon wish, wish for the greatest thing in the world. world. space. Really? How can you tell? Well, look over there. See that? Yeah. That's space. Oh. And this is the greatest thing in the world? I guess so. Well, if the shell says so, it must be true. Hooray! Hooray! We found the greatest thing in the world! Hooray! Well. Good night. Good night. That was the shortest waste of time in your life. Tune in next time for another tedious episode of Orcs, Orcs, Orcs in, in, in Space in Space. space. of raiding gear I've got more pets than you or anyone from there to here you can't compete with me so don't you even try I gank ten dwarves a day and pot gnomes until they fly I killed this ICC and all the toughest raids if we played Starcraft 2 we'd one shot the queen of ballets and so I'm so confused despite the elves I maim in real life I'm a noob oh why can't life be like the game I feel the white light of time as it flickers by. When I'm unplugged, I'm just a guy. Cause life ain't like the game. I have 5,000 gold and all achievement points. You want the violet break, then earn it. Flip, flip, like, flip, flip me. me. I am the faction king. And exalted rewards, including Raven. Hydraxi and water lords. I've invested my time and built myself a life. I'm sure my pony skills could earn me a girlfriend or wife. And so I'm so confused and find it rather lame that I am all alone. Oh, why can't I be like the game? It's a five, ten, and all fast food. Embrace the malaise. Shut the door. Shake your thick tail. Dance, girl, shake your thick tail. Come on, girl, ride my epic now. And then shake your thick tail. I'm every player's fantasy with skill seen only in your dreams. I'll take you one five at a time, cause I'm my own arena team. Holy punts and casting, fearing, camping, horses, laughing, cheering, mining, crafting, buying, selling, ninja, looting, legendaries. Driving, working, eating, sleeping, coughing, wheezing, seizing, breathing. Every day is just the same. Oh, I can't life be like the game. Hello, darling. Will you be my girl? I'll shard your purples and let you ride my rocket mount. I lesser than three you, my sweet. Save a spot in the raid for me, and I'll place a gem in your sockets. Day in, day out, going without social places, friendly faces, new achievements, grinding faction, hoarding badges, sieging action. I feel the white light of time as it flickers by. When I'm unplugged, I'm just a guy whose life ain't like the game. Yeah.
Pandas, 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 now, I have covered a number of musical blights in the past. Screamo, rap, Eurovision. But today I'll be tackling one of the most evil forms of music ever conceived by man. J-pop. J-pop is Japanese music inspired by English popular rock. Uh, you can tell J-pop from many other forms of Japanese music because the songs inexplicably throw in random English phrases that are often botched English idioms. For example, the phrase, Have you fallen head over heels in love? Translated into J-pop equals, Have your love heels fallen over head? In order to be a J-pop superstar, you have to be a 16-year-old Japanese girl pretending to be a 6-year-old Japanese girl. You wear bright and often revealing clothing, but behave in an adolescent manner reminiscent of a toddler discovering candy for the first time. You dance around on stage like a robot, and then start doing a sleazy pole dance or fake striptease, which I'm sure has been the cause of much sexual confusion for any number of Japanese men. Most importantly, you have to sing in a high-pitched, cutesy manner, complete with random squeaks and squeals. So then, this is Oxhorn's attempt at singing J-pop. <clears throat> okay, channeling 16-year-old Japanese girl pretending to be a toddler. Let's see. <clears throat> <coughs> Have your heels fall off her head in a meatball, Oh, man. Oh. Work, work. Work, work. Zug, zug. Work, work. Zug, zug. And double. Work, work. Zug, zug. And double. Work, work, zag, zag, double. Work, work, zag, zag, double, double. Work, work, zag, zag, double. Work, work, zag, zag, double, double. We we mine for all to make some money. We hard nuts all you can't have any. We have what you call monopoly. We put it all up on the auction now. To make a buck. Work, work, zag, zag, double. Work, work, zag, zag, double, double. Yo. You are a tradesman and you don't run jams. You waste your money at the auction house. To craft outdated stuff you cannot use. When you turn 80, you are very poor. But we are rich. Work, work, zag, zag, double. Work, work, zag, zag, double, double. Work, work, zag, zag. Work, work, zag, zag. Work, work. Work, work.